pay-per-view numbers will be very, very strong. And uh, I have to say that the people who bought the pay-per-view uh, got their money's worth. You know, sometimes uh, you have a fight and a lot of people buy the pay-per-view and there's a lot of talk about the fight and a lot of interest and the fight doesn't uh, live up to its uh, uh, height. That happens in all sports events. Uh, if uh, uh, people uh, became disenchanted uh, when they buy Super Bowl tickets or tickets to a big bowl game, and the game happens to turn out to be not so interesting or a blowout, These, this happens in sports. So I'm pleased today, because I can't take credit for it, the fighters have to get the credit, I'm really pleased uh, that uh, we had uh, this very, very important undercard. I'm very pleased that uh, my three Hispanics uh, dumped Trump and all won their fights. Uh, and I'm very pleased that Manny and Timmy really went at it and gave the fans a sensational fight. And the great, great fighters of our Sure, you watch a Tim Bradley fight, you get 100%. This guy really, it was, a, I think, one of the most proud, pleasing fights that I've seen in a long time. So let me call him to the microphone and, uh, Eddie, and let them say a few words, and then you can fire some questions. Tim? Timmy said afterward that you didn't get enough from Tim Bradley. 
Can you tell? Can you tell us what you meant by that? That I didn't do good enough. Yeah, you said for ten grand. Well, I fought the best I could tonight. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I, I wasn't sure what was going. I wasn't tired, but uh, it just seemed like Manny was always in the right spots. He was always in the right spots. He was always looking to counter me. Um, you know, I was trying to get my jab working and getting around him, but he was just—he was just smarter. He was just smarter than I was at that, honestly. Um, he was a step ahead of me. I was supposed to be a step ahead of him, so I couldn't really. Every now and then, I'll find a rhythm, but then I lose my concentration at the end of the end of the round, and he was trying to come on and still around. But uh, he was just always on top of me, man. He was always just uh, a step ahead of me, and I was supposed to be a step ahead of him. Tonight. Do you think, based on what you saw tonight, do you think Manny Pacquiao should retire? No. No, many bags are retired. Good luck you, Tim! <laughs> Terry, Woo! hey, thank you guys. My spirit is not crushed, man. You went so many years and, uh, it's, you know, it's all good. I'm good. I'm happy. Tim, you, you said several times that Manny was smarter tonight. Was he also, was he better tonight than he had been in the first two fights against him? Yeah, he was very patient. He was very patient, and um, he was just waiting. Like I told you, he was just waiting on me. He was waiting on me to make mistakes. Uh, my trainer kept telling me to stop lunging, but I felt like I wasn't able to hit him. And <laughs> I wasn't able to get to him. You know, he wasn't. He wasn't. You know, he was committing his spots, but he would get out quickly. You know, what I was trying to do is I was trying to lure him in and then get out and then fire back at him. But you know, when he made a mistake, he he corrected really fast, and I couldn't jump on top of him. I was a step behind. So, in spite of the fact that you had four, 24 rounds with him and thought you knew him, he did things that you didn't expect to him? Yeah, yeah, he just used he just used distance and, uh, you know, he just anticipated on me coming in and he countered me. Uh, Tim, actually this is for Teddy. Teddy, over here. Uh, there was a lot of talk uh, with Tim during the week about, in the previous fights with Manny, he didn't really have a game plan, and he said he really had a good game plan for this fight. Did did Tim follow the game plan tonight? And if so, what was it? Yeah, I listen. I, I came up short. I didn't, I didn't know. I, I deserve my title enough. I don't think he came up short. Coach, you didn't come up short, man. Come on. But um. I think we had a proper game plan. Give credit to Manny. Manny was terrific. Uh, I give him all the credit in the world. But, uh, you know, we, we wanted to take a little bit more advantage of sometimes his preliminary movement before he exploded forward. And uh, there was, I thought, some opportunities to do that, but I, I don't know that I pushed the right buttons to get that done. Continue? Do you see that happening? I think I think Timothy Bradley is um, the best human being that I've ever been around training. So.
right. And you have yeah. nothing to be ashamed of. Thank you. Uh, our question is, do you think that you could have brought him a lot closer in at certain times throughout the fight? It seems like you were sort of uh, hesitant to get closer to throw the power punches that you wanted to. Yeah, well, the game, the game plan was that, you know, it was four things I was supposed to do, all right? I was supposed to slip the left hand and, and come on my hooks. I was supposed to, you know, pull him out on the laundry line, you know, or force him in and then counter punch. Um, you know, faint up and go around to the side. There's a lot of stuff that I wasn't doing. I wasn't doing. I wasn't, I wasn't listening. I wasn't doing during the fight like I was supposed to do. Um, but yeah, at times when I did attack, I felt that I was I was doing some damage. But um, you know, Manny, uh, Manny Brazilian, man, he just set me up occasionally uh, when I came straight in. My trainer kept telling me stop going straight in. He kept telling me to you know fake the aggression and go to the side. But uh, I just yeah, occasionally I can do it, but I couldn't do it all night. Man. It just boils down to concentration and focus all the way through. And uh, I think I did it two minutes, two minutes a night, and, you know, one minute off. Anyways, congratulations to Team Back Out. Um, if that's all the questions you guys have for me. Oh, you got one question? Yes. Oh, got another question. Hey, Tim. Um, to touch on what you, you just said, I was going to ask you, uh, there was a couple of rounds where it seemed like you were controlling, like the first two, two and a half minutes, and then he almost like stole the round from you, either the last minute, the last 30 seconds, and you almost had a look on your face, and you're going back to the corner, like, he, he just stole that from me. Yeah, it just that, that all was out of concentration. Um, it's something that Teddy always tells me in the training camp. You know, you can't lose your concentration. You need to stay focused all the way through the round. And, uh, you know, I don't know if it's a habit. I don't know what it is. But uh, I just lost concentration, you know, midpoint. Uh, two minutes. And, and, you know, he would come on strong towards the end. Just a mistake on my part. Who, me? Yeah. Man, I'm not done.
try to drag them out. And it, was, it was really good to see, and I think that's where they all made it back at. The way that's the way it used to be, and that's why he was such an exciting fighter. What would you make, you know, there's been talk, I mean, I think it's a little too big, but talk of him fighting Canelo, and you're fighting a guy that comes in the ring way at 170. How would Manny have to fight a guy like that? And with this kind of fighter where if there was more patient and maybe more economical, this punch is not creating openings, be more effective than he would have been had he been more wild. Right, you know, Canelo's a big guy, and um, the thing is, I mean, if we, if we did fight a guy like that, I'm sure we'd have to put a cap on how much he could gain after the weigh-in. But, you know, my favorite fight is uh, Terrence Crawford, though, because maybe his best fighting weight is still 140 pounds, and I think that's a great fight for us. Hey, Freddie, um, I, um, in that final minute with the fans standing and cheering for Manny, did you even allow yourself a brief moment just to think about what this journey has been like? And if it did indeed end tonight, what will always stick in your mind about it? Well, you know, it was, a, you know, I, I, we talked about it, it might be in his last pro fight, and, um, you know, I said, go out with a bang. I said, let's, let's, look, let's look good doing it. And he did that, and uh, I'm very happy. And if he does, if he does decide to retire, I'll be 100% behind him. But, you know, he's talking about maybe going to the Olympics and maybe fighting this guy or that guy. But uh, I'm not really sure, sure if he's going to retire yet. But, um, you know, it's a difficult sport to quit. It's really, really hard to retire. And I think he's, he hasn't realized that yet, but it's, he, he will soon. How heavily in his ear are you going to be? Are you going to talk to him for sure before he leaves for the Philippines and say, look, you still got it? This Crawford fight is appetizing. No, 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 I told him already. I said, you still have a, lot, a, lot, a lot of fight left with you. He hasn't still got a bit. He hasn't really shown uh, signs of uh, wear and tear. And uh, again, I think I thought at moments he looked better than he has in a long time. And uh, I, you know, when I see Manny aggressive like that, that's the best man to back out. That's when he's at his best. Freddie, was, it, was that your game plan tonight? The patience? Is that what you came in wanting to do? Yeah, we, we had a feeling that he was going to maybe move on us a little bit and try to be a little bit of a counter puncher. And he did. And, uh, you know, Manny, uh, I said, hey, you know, the future is speed and momentum, and uh, you have to throw a lot of confidence. He did okay with that, but he, he can do a lot better because the volume of punches, I, I, I thought it should have been a little bit higher, and I think it, with a higher volume of punches, he possibly could have knocked him out. Thank you.
maybe four at the most. So I think he can get, he obviously has room for improvement in that, in that area, yes. Freddie, just saw Shreve. Do you want him to continue the fight? <laughs> um, uh, you know, we've had a great 15 years together. If he retires, I'll be happy for him. Uh, that's kind of up to him. I know he's in shape to keep fighting. Uh, he hasn't lost a beat. He's, his legs so good. His work ethic is great. Uh, he can continue to fight on the beat. If he uh, retired, retired, spends more time with his family, and um, he, he enjoys life. Um, if he has something to fall back on, he can possibly could be a senator by then. Uh, um, I'd be 100% behind him, yes. If, Freddie, if he, if he retires, would you retire? Is there any chance this is your last fight? No, no I'm, ready, I'm not ready to retire yet. I don't have enough hobbies and I don't have anything to fall back on. This is what I do, I do it every day of my life. I got a couple young prospects coming up in the gym right now. I got Frankie Gomez fighting on the next uh, big show and uh, he's one of my good young fighters and I, I look forward to him and the world title soon. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mirrors, of course, yes. And, and to follow up on your comment uh, before when you talked about the volume of punches, I had asked Bob about that. You know, Manny threw 10 more punches himself at the first fight in Bradley than the combined total tonight. Is there any way that the lack of punches that he threw is a sign of his age and the fact that maybe an older fighter can't get off the way a younger fighter could? I think it's more of his mindset. It's just, he really doesn't want to really hurt anybody. And uh, I think. Uh, Slowly get out of that because he was throwing this punch tonight. You could hear the punches land really a lot better than it's been a long time. And uh, I think since uh, maybe the beginning of bringing back the old man Pacquiao. So that's why I I would like to see him fight again, yes. Can you say a little bit about Jose Ramirez and his... Uh... Jose did very well. He had a very tough guy in front of him. Uh, he, uh, he won almost every round, but uh, again, I uh, want him to... Uh, we had to work on his defense a little bit, and I want him to work on him jab a little bit more. He does have a good jab, and uh, sometimes he gets a little carried away, and he uh, uh, tries to uh, block people off. And a little bit too far distance, but he is a very good prospect. Yeah, he's 18 years old now, and uh, uh, we're about ready to step up to, uh, to you know, the top 10 level type guys, and uh, I, hope, I hope he gets a title shot by the end of the year. Thank you. Thank you very much. When I uh, walk out of here tonight, I'll only be thinking about one thing. Where am I going to get something to eat? You know, probably tomorrow and next week, I'll think about the great memories I had, the great things that uh, I was able to do because of my association with Manny. I mean, and one of the things that I'll never forget, and I'm so grateful for, is that because of Manny, I got to know the Philippines and the Filipino people. And that's something that uh, is not just words, that's something that I deeply feel. So, you know, and again, you know, if he retires, and I consider the fact that he is retired, because that's what he, he said to me, you know, Neither of us have died yet, uh, and as long as we're both alive, we'll see each other, we'll be friends, and uh, it's not necessary for Manny to fight for me to have a relationship with him. One of the great fighters of all time, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. I'm ready to talk and answer questions.
questions so I'm going to turn the microphone over to Mick. Hi everyone. Hello. First, I would like to thank God for a uh, successful event tonight. And I want to thank uh, the press and media for uh, always there to support us. And of course, I want to thank you, Bob Aron, Top Rank Promotion, uh, for helping me since the, the beginning. And of course, I, I don't want to forget to, to uh, thank the MGM. You know, I have a lot of uh, fight here in MGM. Thank you for uh, hosting the fight here in MGM. A lot of my fights. Uh, thank you so much for all the support and to all the sponsors always there behind us to support every promotion, not only my fight but to the other fights. And of course, uh, thank you to the team uh, Pacquiao, Freddy Rhodes, and the rest, and of course the uh, team Bradley. Thank you for uh, a, good, a, a good fight tonight. Thank you. Manny, does this feel like the end to you, or did you do some things tonight where you're encouraged to uh, keep this thing going? <laughs> no problem. Yeah. Does this feel like the end to you? Congratulations. Does this feel like the end to you, and um, were there some good things that happened for you that will incur or, or will you, know, you be encouraged to return? Like I said, sir, um, I already uh, uh, decided that to commit to my family that after this fight, I'm going to uh, get back up and spend more time with, with them. And they um, uh, took about the time and that uh, going to be. And um, they focus to help the people, to serve the people in the, in the Philippines. And that's my priority right now. And, Manny, hi. Um, you said the other day you dreamed about how this fight would turn out. Did it turn out the way the dream? When I'm happy with the result of the fight tonight. Um, although, you know, every round I'm looking for uh, a knockout to finish the fight, but we know that Bradley is. Uh, is also a, a top uh, opponent, top boxer. So, you know, um, I did my best, but um, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm so happy with that. Uh, it's so that, that almost uh, what I want to do. So, let me, let me just make sure I got it right. You dreamed you were gonna knock Bradley out? Was that the dream that you knocked Bradley out to win? Or, that's, you know, I, I tell you this, every round I'm looking for uh, a good shot and I'm looking for um, uh, a knockout. But uh, like I said, Bradley is not that easy opponent. Hey Manny, right here. Um, does it, you know, you, you, you say you're retired, but wouldn't it be you know, better for the Filipino people if you continue to fight because they, they their spirits seem to be lifted by you. You know, let me enjoy first uh, our entire life. If you ask me about, if you ask me about come back to come back, I don't know because uh, I might be enjoying a uh, uh, retired life, like like I said, and uh, to say uh, to coming back. I'm not there yet, so I don't know what's the feeling. You know, I don't know what's the feeling. And um, I have commitment to my family that, you know, I made my decision. So, thank you. Although, uh, if you ask me about my, about my condition, about my body, my body is still, uh, I'm still okay. I can still uh, uh, give a good fight, 100% of the condition like that. About training, I'm not busy in training. I work hard in training, so I'm still okay. Uh, Freedom knows that how I, I prepare for the fight. Manny, uh, just wonder, like, what it is that you love about boxing? What was it that brought you to the gym every day? Was it the fight itself, or was it 
the camaraderie with Freddie and working with all your training partners that you love? Just um, it's a mix. Um, I like the fight. I, I like I love to the way we, we prepare for the fight. It's just uh, I'm happy doing that um, for prepare, preparing for uh, every fight. So and Freddie, oh, he always saw that to me the the, the aggressiveness, the hungerness, and the training to work hard. He knows how, how I work. Manny right here. Um, uh, two questions. One, in the eighth round, um, Tim got you with a good left hook, and then you were on the ropes, and you, you, you clinched with him, and then you whispered something to him. Can you tell us what you said? Well, um, I did that intentionally, uh, so that he will come in and I can counter him, and then uh, I can counter him, and then uh, I want that. But when I counter him again and throw in a lot of punches, uh, throw in power pants, he started back off like that and moving around, so it didn't work. <laughs> but what, what did you say to him? You whispered, you whispered something to him. What can you tell us? What you said? Whisper. I said um, it's a uh, break, break. And, and second question. Um, you seem to be having a lot of fun in there tonight. You know, smiling. Touching your gloves together. Can you tell us how much fun you had in there tonight? Maybe compared to some of your more recent fights. Like I said, it's good thing it's happened to me that I have a long layout in boxing. You know what I what I feel tonight. I feel like fresh. You know that's why every round. I, you know I, I I'm excited. I, I feel fresh. Like I remember when I when I started boxing. Uh, when I started fighting here in America, 2001. So that's my feeling. Manny, did you have any problems with your shoulder, your right? Any problems with your right shoulder tonight? No, no. Um, I'm really thankful uh, to God that He, you know, the healing is uh, really fast and recovery. And tonight, you know, I'm, I'm, I want to use it to prove that it's healed already. But when I get him uh, a, a few, uh, a few right hook. And then he, he back off, and, you know, he feel it, and then um, he knows that I'm going to counter him and, and, and right off. One, one last question. Did, do you think you ended this trilogy as friends? As friends with Bradley? Did you yeah. yeah, Bradley is a, nice, uh, uh, he's a nice guy, a good man, and you know, in fact, I invited, I invited him uh, to uh, tomorrow with our uh, Bible study. <laughs> uh, he will try, he will try tomorrow to come to a uh, Bible study. This is good, I mean, uh, uh, this is boxing. We don't need to hit, hit, hit each other outside the ring. We should, uh, we should be friends and, you know, we interview people, we give it an exciting fight for the people. And that's our job. Manny, right over here. Right over here. Um, it sounds like your family wants you to retire more than you want to retire. Can you definitely say tonight that you'll never fight again? You're good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> my heart is 50-50, you know. Uh, you know, my heart is 50-50, but I love my family, I honor my family, you know, my kids. Um, I encourage them to not to go to boxing, to be a boxer one day because um, boxing is hard. it's a really hard sport and very difficult. And I don't know, like like I said, you know, I might enjoy my uh, as a retired life, or I might you know come back. It's hard to say because I didn't, I'm not there yet, you know. But right now, I, I, my decision is to retire. If, if Mayweather came back, would you change your mind? No. I can't answer that because, like I said, I might enjoy a uh, retired life, you know, spend more time with uh, my family and, and help make people, you know, I love to help people. And even, uh, even before, from the beginning, before I became a, po a politician, I, uh, I'm helping people in my country. Because, you know why? Because Manny Pacquiao's beginning is from nothing. From nothing, I, 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 I think of this. I experienced to sleep in the street. 
experience to have to to uh, to have no food one day. I just drink water just to survive. That's what I experienced. That's why since the beginning when I when I uh, earning money from boxing, I I already helping them helping them until now. But I'm not announcing it because it's my own pocket. It's not a government pocket. So uh, that's what I did. Money. Said the police, uh, if this, this was your last fight, uh, uh, how do you resume your career? What do you think about your career and what's the best moment in boxing and the worst moment in boxing? You know, what I have done in boxing, I'm so satisfied and happy, more than happy because, because when I start boxing, I never think that I can I can, I can accomplish this, all I have done right now. And uh, I'm so thankful to God that He gave me this great responsibility, great achievements in life. And that's, uh, that's I mean, uh, that's a, a great blessing, a big blessing from the Lord that He, he gave it to me. And he used me as a, a, as a role model to inspire people. Thank you. What's the best moment and the worst moment in boxing? The best and the worst moment in boxing. There is no worst uh, moment in boxing. Yeah, I mean, uh, <clears throat> sometimes when you lose, it's not the worst moment. Um, it's a uh, sometimes you lose. It, <clears throat> it's it's kind of uh, uh, like uh, you want to grow, you want to learn more about about your job. Okay. That's I want to thank everybody for coming here and. Uh, Believe me, he has a great, great family, he has a great, great future, and uh, I wish him, and I'm sure all of us wish him nothing but the best. Thank you, once again, thank you to all of you, uh, media and press, uh, for always behind us and supporting us. Uh, you know, you are part of this uh, achievements. All I have done, you are part of that. And thank you for, to Bob Aaron, Top Rock Promotion, and of course, in gym. Thank you so much. God bless us all.